Hi there. Welcome back to episode 53 of City Skylines Height Map 25 Tile Intermediate Series. Um, I got the medallions figured out, made my changes. They're all working now. They all have a lot of little spots on them that should be attracting people. So we'll check back with those later. Um, those of you who came in from uh, the episode previous to this will know what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't, go check out episode 52. Okay, um, all of the metro parks or, or metro stations are kind of bare looking and sort of hard to find if you need to find them. Um, so I decided to put a little tiny park on each side of them. So I made some parks and see if I can go find the one is this it two by two green yeah I'm putting one here and one here on each of these little metro stations can't get too close to them but as you can see they have a nice little fountain four benches and this little white thing here is uh, a newsstand so when people want to get on the metro they can grab something to read if it's going to be a long trip and these are little bicycle stations. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever going to really use these. I have not seen, in all the time that I have been doing this, I have never seen anyone with a bicycle anywhere. Motorcycles, yes. Bicycles, not yet. So, but maybe someday somebody will, you know, decide, well, we have a place for people to put bicycles, you know, to, to rack their bicycles. Maybe we should put bicycles in the game. It would make a lot of sense, you know. But um, we'll see what happens with that. And eventually when we look at these later, we'll, we should see people gathering in them because I did put gathering points in them. Okay, there's that one. And then if we go, uh, let's see, if we go up here and we go to transportation, yeah, that turns the metro station green. I know there's one down here in Old Town. We can go down here and put a park around each of these. I realize that there are buildings around them right now. That is so not going to stop me because I want these parks in here. And I made them specifically to go here. So... The buildings can just, you know, work around them. I guarantee you more buildings will come in around here. There. Okay. That's nice. A nice spot there. Okay. Every place that it's green, I'm going to be putting this kind in. And then over in the industrial area and the landfill area where it is polluted, I have an, a different type. See, they're already p building a building right there. I'll bet you that's a coffee kiosk. I'll just bet you that's a cup of coffee kiosk. It looks like it might be. I'm curious. Let's see. Yep. I think that's a little tiny coffee shop. They, they pop up where nothing else will fit. Yep, Medium Mug Cafe. And I'll bet there'll be another one on the other side. No, this is too big to be one of those. But at least, you know, if they want to grab a cup of coffee now before they get on the metro, they can. If they want to get a newspaper, they can. They just want to take a break and relax for a few minutes, like this guy or gal right down here. Right there, Rosemary Smith, visiting the Metro Park. And I suppose she might eventually decide to, and there's a little old lady visiting the Metro Park. Audrey Finch, already. So we'll see people in here all over, I think, in this section. Okay, so let's go find the other metros. Travel. Okay. And we can just, you know, look like this. Okay, we got we got that one. I guess the next one on the on the metro road here is the forestry department. And forestry is not polluting. So 
we can go down in here as close as I can get anyway to this metro station okay put one in there and I'm gonna put one in right space already occupied what I have to okay I have to dezone that section that little piece anyway there then I can go in and put a park in next to it there and more things will grow back up around this but at least now we have a place for people to relax when they come to the metro station to go home or maybe just come over here to have lunch we could even put some of these in there for people to have lunches at elsewhere they're tiny enough they don't cost anything these little these little parks cost let's see what they cost 16 cents a week I think we can manage Metro station costs 300 a week it cost us 20, 32 cents a week for people to have a place to sit down and enjoy a fountain and relax while they're waiting for the next metro station metro bus to come in or trolley whatever they call those trains I guess okay so the next one is just follow our little road up the hill here we've got two of them up here okay first we have this one and where is this oh oh this is in the commercial area and it already has a coffee shop on each side that's going to get zapped which is too bad but um, the, there's it's sitting these two coffee shops are sitting exactly where I want to put my parks in so too bad too sad oh no it's going to take out two things will it let me do it yep okay and here and then maybe the coffee shops will grow back in on the outside of these two that would be nice there's just exactly enough room for the coffee shops on each side so maybe actually I think there's twice as much room as is needed there we go there's a little one we'll see what this turns out to be that's filling in here where we took out the other building oh that looks awfully tall to be a coffee shop I don't think that's a coffee shop what is that I don't know if I've ever seen that building before okay curiosity has me discount sales doesn't tell me a lot just says it's a high-density commercial building oh I didn't know I had any more of those in there is that the area I'm in oh it is okay so probably the same thing will wind up here eventually is anybody going in the park yet I'm at 300 3,000 something plus on my income so I'm not too worried about you know the income hi there I'm back you didn't even know I left but I've been gone for four hours we had a little emergency here I had to take care of okay so let's see where we were putting in this Metro Park and just I guess waiting to see uh, if something gets built here um, there's room for commercial to go in but I'm not seeing anything happen so we'll go ahead and boy look at those people pile out of that Metro Wow I think that putting the metro system in was a really good idea I really do okay checking on the sick 85 sick checking on the dead 242 dead and we had 230 I think on our last check 
<clears throat> okay, so maybe it's gone up a little, but I'm going to let it ride for a bit. Probably going to wish I had not done that, but... Okay, garbage capacity is still good, at least according to the numbers. Now looking at the colors, I'm seeing a lot of brown. I'm sorry, but I am. I'm seeing a lot of brown. And <clears throat> that doesn't tell me that it's, well, it's nice and aqua up here, though, and that never happens. Okay, maybe maybe these guys are going to just disappear in a little bit. We'll come back and check them in a bit. As long as there's nothing really bright red, I guess we're okay so far. Okay, so back to the terminals. Going to transportation. And we did the forestry, and we just finished this one. Yeah, we just finished this one, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, we did. That was the one we just finished. Uh, this is the big commercial area now. And that was a good idea, putting in that, that dirt road there. So people aren't having to go all the way down here, way down here, and then around just to get back over to here. Same thing here. This lets people get down into this area faster. And that's always a good thing. I might even put a little metro that'll go from here down, but that'll be if... Uh... Oh, there, there we, there we go. There's somebody coming in. Okay. And that is a buy-it-all shop. So we have a discount sales shop and a buy-it-all shop in place of the two coffee shops. I guess that's okay. Okay, so next metro station is, I think, over here somewhere. Up here? Okay, up here. Oh, yeah, up here next to the... Um, next to the... Uh, Clinic. Gosh, I can't come up with my words today. Use your words. Use your words. People are always telling me, use your words. Uh-oh. Okay, well, rather than mess things up, I cannot... I don't think I can move this without moving all the tunnels underneath. But I can move the clinic over a little bit. I'll put the clinic over here. I mean, it's still running, it's still the same, but now I have room to put my little parks in. I like my parks. I want to continue to use my parks. There's one, there's the other. Oops. Okay. Should be a lot of people in those pretty soon. Okay, and then following the line, we just came up from there to here. So we only have four more to go. Okay, so this one is the one that is by the other medical clinic. And again, the clinic is too close. And it's not putting out anything anyway. So again, I'm going to move it over here. It's not going to make any difference. Not to that clinic. It, oh, I do have to put some water out there, though. I'm going to run it out there. And I probably need to run an electric line out to it. There we go. <clears throat> I didn't catch that part. I probably should put something in here later, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. <clears throat> oh, maybe I didn't need the electric, because there's some here. Well, we'll leave it alone. It's only one line, and it might be necessary, so... Okay, parks. Putting in parks. Getting rid of... Okay. Right here. I want to put in one there and one there. Just like we did before. Right across from the fire station, we have... This makes it easy for the people that work at the at the city services to get to work too. If I if I put these metros close to that area, wow, boy, I 
That was cute. Okay. Um, okay, I'm getting bored doing this. I think maybe I'm going to follow some of these people. Who's going where? This is a worker at the drugstore. She's headed home. Probably most of these people are headed home. That's why everybody's going home from work. Okay, worker at the crematorium going home. Uh, Elsa Graham works at a drugstore. She lives at the manor residence and she's headed home. Let's follow her. Because why not? I'll get down as close as I can. Okay, there we go. She's the lady in the yellow shirt, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, she's the lady in the orange shirt. Actually, I'm not sure which one she is. There's so many people there, but she's one of the folks in that crowd because the little blue button is following it. <clears throat> she's a lady in an orange shirt because there's only two of them underneath that. And if I get back a little bit, oh, I think she just, oh, there she goes, across the street. Well, that makes it easier to follow her. Might be able to even get a little closer since she's, there we go, okay. Oh, she must, ooh, okay, she just went into this house, it looks like. Come on, come on back a ways. Not that far back. Well, I just don't seem to be able to get a good handle on her house. There it is. It's just that we're so close that we can't even get in there and take a look at it because we run, we back up into, this is why I don't like to, this is why I want to have a park next to the houses. Then you can get in close and take a look at them. This is as close as I can get. I think she lives in a duplex. There's two doors there. Maybe if we look, we can see her coming out the backside and sitting down and relaxing. Oh, she has a nice little set up there, doesn't she? Look at that, how pretty. She's got a little little uh, gazebo area down here, or uh, lanai, as they say in Hawaii. Um, patio, covered patio, as they say here in the, U in the uh, mainland of the United States. And obviously there are children, because there are to kids' toys back there. Okay, so this is where she lives, and boy, look at the view she's got. Not only does she have a beautiful house to live in, but she's got one kick-ass view. Look at that. That is so pretty. I could live there. That would work for me. Wow. Wow. Really pretty. Okay, uh, what were we doing? We were putting in the metro station parks, and we got this one in right here. Okay, got that one in. Oh, there are a bunch of people coming to just play at the park. Look at this now, would you? Look how many people are in that teeny tiny little metro park see if I can okay Rosli, Ro, Rosemary Black whoa, something uh, James Jones low wealth uh, adult I, I, most of them who are tourists they're wearing shorts I've noticed and all of the little old retired ladies wear pink like this one Olivia and and this one Brittany Finch and then just the regular adults wear regular clothes. Kind of makes it easy to tell. But that's cute. I mean, there's people all over in there. This one, there are even people hanging out next to the, getting their newspapers, I guess. Let's see what they're up to. Or maybe they're just hanging around chatting. I can't tell. I don't see anybody getting a newspaper. Another tourist. I, this lady is a young adult. Wow! There go a bunch more people headed for home. Okay, well that is a... Those are well-used little parks. 
Okay, so let's go on to the, uh, now for the industrial ones. I'm going to put different parks down here because in this area, if you look at the pollution, it's huge down here. And that's where our metro park is. It's right here, and it's right in the middle of all this pollution. Anything I put here that's green, it's gonna die. So why even bother, right? Why not put something nice there that people can enjoy that is not green so they won't have to look at dead stuff? Make sense? Okay, so I made a little park. Looks the same size as the other ones but you'll notice it's all cement and it's just a lot of water features which is still good I mean water features are nice I'm gonna put another one there okay see now that's not bad they've got they've got a grill there that they can get hot dogs and hamburgers and whatever at you know and they've got a newspaper stand and a nice little fountain and a, six other fountains and a place to put their bikes if anybody's riding a bike like I said I haven't seen any yet but you never know what they're gonna put in this game and we get updates almost daily so <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's what the updates are but oh I want to see who these guys are if I can catch this last one who's oh 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 I'm going the wrong way I'm trying to get a hold of a whole s bunch of guys went in wearing the same colors at uh, box factory okay so I guess they all wear the same colors this one too though different colors I don't know maybe it was just a batch of people wearing the same t-shirt but if you get down in here and look they have a nice setup here in this park they got a place where they can get goodies to eat and newspapers to read and this even makes a nice place to go for lunch because there certainly aren't any other parks around in here huh there aren't any other parks around in here okay where do I have where in here do I have like there's a spot here where I could put one because there certainly isn't anything else there now there we go and any place where there's something burnt out, why not why not put one of these little parks in so people have some place to to go to during lunch? Okay. And then we'll go ahead and Okay. I mean these parks are only costing me sixteen cents a week. I think I can afford to put a few parks in for these folks. Now there are some I did have make a deeper uh, one right here that okay I'll put that one in the next spot right here oh no it's wider it's also wider I'll have to wait until I get something that's <clears throat> a little bit wider than this one okay where are there this one's too close this one might be perfect Although, I think it's it's also really skinny. Yeah, it is. This one might work. That looks wide enough, maybe. Okay. So this is an industry park that I made for the metro before I realized I didn't need to make one that big. And it is a little bit large. So I won't bother to put that in there. I'm going to have to take something else out anyway. Okay, I could maybe put it here, though. Right there? Yeah. Okay. See, now that one has... It's, it's deeper, and it still has a, a, a newspaper stand, no food, an information booth. Why anybody would want that, I don't know, when they're not going to the metro. But, you know, and, and, and there are, unfortunately, a couple of pots that I forgot to take out. They'll be good and dead soon. But aside from that, this is a nice little, 
nice little sit and relax place to take your lunch okay let's see where I can add another one I have a bunch of parks there but I don't have any down here and if I put one here right there then people can come that are working in the fire department which is right there I think who's in here yeah there's a fire department and the and the incineration group so and, and all of these folks as well this is fun putting in lunch areas for people it's not a bad idea I'll put another one here okay so now we have some places for people to go and have lunch that don't have and they're easy to find they've all got this big guy sitting on a horse statue statue of a guy sitting on a horse plenty of place to sit and relax okay and do I need one down here yeah I probably do there's nothing down here huh okay <clears throat> how about right there okay I've probably put a whole dollar's worth of parks in there and I'm sure they'll all appreciate it and then there's just one last park right here this last metro park that is hardly going to have anybody going into it I don't think the only people that are going to go in there are people working at the incineration plants and there's only six of them and people working at uh, the fire station so like the fire station oh it doesn't say how many people work at it I thought that they did um, I guess the only place you see that is where you see how many people are in the house but not who works in one of these places businesses um, stores they tell you but the incineration plants don't tell you how many they're using there are some people out here though that are walking from it they just came out of it okay so we will since since there's room I'm gonna put one of each here no actually I'm gonna put four of them no there's only there's only a few people here I'll just use the little ones yeah, that's probably more appropriate for the number of people that are going to be going here of course there are all those truck drivers and there's like 34 truck drivers to a hmm okay well yeah why not we'll put this one in too why not we have plenty of room we're never going to use this for anything we can't because it'll get polluted so why not use it for this okay that looks pretty good you never know the truck drivers might love that all these guys driving these trucks they might decide to stop there and have lunch and they're probably going to come in and out of here during commute hours oh there are a lot of people that come out of there compared to what I expected all right um, it does say that it needs water though I forgot about that so where's the water at okay there we go okay water electricity we're good to go and I expect it'll take a while for people to discover that they can actually enjoy sitting around in the park but eventually there should be people in these parks we'll check on them later oh there's one lady that already went in there um, she's a worker at Goods Unlimited she comes from over at the other part of the she came, must have taken the metro to get over here um, because she obviously works gosh goods unlimited that's that's in the commercial area I think oh no it isn't it's 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 right here she works right here and she I know she didn't walk all the way over there across that freeway so that means she went 
to this metro station right here and then got on it and took the metro over here to visit the park and maybe have some lunch and there's an oh and there's a lady that was at the park for a minute and now she's driving to another park she's a senior so she's just driving around visiting parks apparently why not if you're retired you can do anything you want and right there is an educated senior and he's just visiting the park for the heck of it he doesn't work anywhere <clears throat> Right there, that fella. Okay, let's see if I can get a better look at him. He looks like a very healthy senior. Can't tell, really. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. That guy works at Trident Accounting. You know that that's, like way up in the commercial area so these these metro metro stations allow people to go anywhere they want a lot of people came out of here and just went right in there that's cool I like that okay this is lovely okay so of course some of them are criminals obviously there's one right there I don't mean this guy is, but it says there's a criminal there in the park somewhere. Or there wouldn't be this thing. Okay. Let's see. I finished all the Metro Park parks. What can I do next? <gasps> oh, I was going to... I almost forgot. I was going to... I haven't zoned... Um, which helps with recycling and also with keeping big trucks out of the area. Um, if I go to zoning, I've zoned port side and I've zoned this area, which doesn't even need to have this much zoning on it, the services area, but I haven't zoned new port side. It doesn't even have a name because I haven't zoned it. This whole piece here should be new port side. And this piece doesn't need to be as big. So I'm going to push, oops, I'm going to push the services area into where it belongs because, come on, guys, there's, you know, nobody out there. Okay. I thought there was going to be because I thought I was going to put in landfills until I realized that landfills was such a mistake really 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 bad horrible mistake that I did not want to be making after all now I probably oops I probably want to make a big circle the oh gosh I do want to make a big circle around this area though because this is this is the pollution area the port side services around where the, um, there we go. Okay. There. Looks like a man with a funny nose, doesn't it? Okay, so this part down here, though, is going to be named New Port Side. And it's going to be all of this. And the only thing I'm going to put on it is a stipulation that nobody, uh, is a stipulation that I need to fix this. Because I can't tell, I can't tell trucks that they can't run on the freeway or we'll have some real problems. There. Ah. I meant to get rid of everything here and instead I created another area oh I'm doing so good just so very very good I 
Okay. I guess I have to go this way and get down further where I can see what I'm doing a little better. And use a really tiny one to just push this out into this area without going anywhere near the freeway. I want to cover the buildings, but not the freeway. There we go. Okay. And this one I didn't push out far enough either. I put in new buildings and forgot that I that I had needed to fix the zoning to match. Things that we catch when we're okay. So that's all taken care of. Now I need to go in and rename this. Uh, first off, I need to put in the right name. I'm going to call it Newport Side. And the policies are only going to be recycling and no heavy traffic, no big huge trucks. That's it. That should be enough and it's probably going to drop our tax money a lot because recycling takes a small amount out of the uh, taxes. So, um, let's see, policies on this one, heavy traffic ban and recycling already. So that one is good to go, except I want to call this now Old Port Side. There. And I'll bet I didn't think to, uh, I'll bet this is still called Victoria something over here because I'll just, yep. Um, when I went to name this one, I forgot to hit the enter key afterwards. Enter there. If you don't hit that enter key after you put something in, it doesn't take. Okay, so now we have new port side and an old port side. And our taxes are at 4,300, uh, 4,000, 4,300, I'm rounding up, 4,200, 4,100. Okay, taxes are going to be a little lower. I don't know how low they're going to go, but hopefully they won't go too far. And how are our parks down here now that I, I went in and I, I changed them all and I put some extra spots in them for people to congregate in and I'm still not seeing any people. Maybe it just takes a long time. Maybe it's because the, I don't know why. They're all attached to a road now so there should be people going into these and there don't seem to be hardly any people in here. There's one person there in that one. I don't know if I can get a hold of him. It's a little old retired man, you can tell by the suit he's wearing. And then there's another fellow over here that I can't I can't get a hang, handle on him either. There goes the little retired fellow. He got up and walked away. See, you can't tag him and follow him if you can't get a hold of him. And I thought I had him there for a second. Yeah, ha, ha. There we go. Okay. So we can tag Raymond Smith, who's retired now, and see where he goes. 
get down as close to him as we can. That's as close as I can get. I can't tell if he's... I, I, I'm kind of curious as to whether these people leave the the area of the single park like like this is all one the blue stuff is all one park that he's in does he just walk back and forth in that park and then leave or does he meander out into one of the other parks I'm curious to see where he goes because of that and uh, no he's still he's still in the same park that he was in before which is this one just in this one little strip here. He's just wandering back and forth in the same strip. It looks like. <clears throat> he's got a lot of room to move around in, but um, he's not going from one park to another, even though they're jammed up against each other, which is interesting. He seems to be the only person in that park. And there doesn't seem to be anybody in that one or in that one. There's somebody in that one right there. So the parks, some of them, they have one or two people in them. But not very many. Okay, we lost him because I'm using the keyboard, of course. But I'm just curious to know if anybody is in these parks yet. There's a person standing there. And... Okay, there's one person standing there. There's one person in this one. There's one person in this one, the little lady. So, okay. And there, I thought I saw somebody right here. But maybe not. But there is someone in this one. He just walked over to the gazebo and passed it. Right there. I wonder where he's going. He's going to sit down on the bench. you got to wonder, too, do these people ever leave the park? I'm sure they do. And there's a guy there. And this is, So apparently, so far, we've accumulated one person in each park. These people are going home or going to work. This one is going home. This one is going home. Okay, well. Going to a hillside residence, apparently visiting somebody else at their place. Okay, well, we'll come back in a couple more episodes and check out these new parks and see if anybody is visiting in them. And then there's this other park that's even newer over here. And look at that. This one has got a million people in it. And I put it in after I put in the other one. What is so different about this one? What is it that is in here that is not in the other one? You gotta wonder. What makes one par park really popular and the others are not? Maybe I need to put a little playground in there? Or, or maybe it's these kiosks? Maybe I should put a kiosk in each one of the other ones. I'll try that sometime. But not now because we're at 43 minutes. Um, and almost 44 minutes. So I'm going to close out episode 53. And uh, we'll see you again in episode 54. Bye.